back in 2010 to 2013 ish timeframe at LinkedIn, the uh, the member base was about 40% US and 60% international. But the revenue was except flip. It was about 70% US and 30% international. So the key takeaway, like the headline on that has always been like, there's a lot of white space. There's a lot of commercial opportunities for LinkedIn outside of the US. So the question is, what are we going to do about it? And what was really fun was like across the finance team between FPNA, Bizops, and other organizations, we actually like look at data. And then eventually we came up with a playbook that like, hey, if the members hit certain threshold, like number of members hit certain thresholds in the market, if the engagement hits certain threshold, if there's a cop company, like meaning uh, non-paying companies on our website on certain market hit certain threshold, once you hit like those three threshold create intercession, then you can go in with the inside sales team and then eventually you can go to enterprise sales and pretty quickly you can create a scale good market organizations. And so using the playbook, we opened 20 plus local offices over two years. And that and the speed of us to able to do that to scale that, I think is a big driver of the hyper growth that LinkedIn experienced during the 2010 to the 2012 timeframe. And that was one that I felt that we brought visibility on like what's going on in the market. Can we drive some insight and then combine with some external data and then to basically create a strategy on the gold market? And it plays out.